Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. In our today's discussion is about liver anatomy. So first see what we are gonna learn in this video. So first we will see the surfaces of liver, then we will see its border, then its location, then its anterior view and then its posterior view. So first see its surfaces. So now I will make a diagram and in diagram I will show its surfaces. Our liver is wedge shaped. So this is wedge shaped and it has five surfaces. Our liver has five surfaces. This is superior surface, this is right surface, posteriorly posterior surface, then below this is inferior surface. and anteriorly this is anterior surface so the these are five surfaces of a liver uh, superior surface posterior surface right surface inferior surface and anterior surface so now we will see its border now its border This is our liver and our liver has only one prominent border, only one prominent border and that is inferior border. This is inferior border and inferior border has a two notch this is one notch and this is another notch this notch is called interlobar interlobar notch for for ligamentum teres and this notch is for this is cystic notch for fundus of gallbladder So this is our inferior border of liver and it has two notch. This is interlobar notch for ligamentum teres and this is cystic notch for fundus of gallbladder. So now we will see its location. So now location. This is our sternum, this is G foil process of sternum and these are nine region of abdomen okay. This is right side of the body and this is left side of the body. This is right hypochondrium region, this is uh, left hypochondrium this is right lumbar this is left lumbar this is right ilium this is left ilium and this is epigastrium this is umbilicus region and this is hypogastrium 
so these are nine region of our abdomen now we will see where our liver is located these are ribs and this is our liver most of our liver covered by the ribs and costal cartilages only epigastrium part is not covered by ribs and cartilages so our liver occupies whole of our hypochondrium right hypochondrium and a greater part of epigastrium and uh, extends into left hypochondrium okay and also some part in right lumbar region so this is where our liver is located i hope you now you understand where our liver is located now we will see uh, its anterior view and its posterior view so now first we will see the anterior view of liver if we see our liver from front how it will be look like now first make a diagram so this is our liver this is the anterior view of liver anterior view or from front anterior view or from front this is right lobe okay right lobe right lobe is larger 5 6th of the liver and this is left lobe left lobe only 1 6th of liver and this is triangular left left triangular ligament and this is ligam this is falciform ligament falciform ligament and this is ligamentum teres and this is fundus of gall bladder and this is superior layer of coronary ligament coronary ligament so this is the anterior view of our liver this is how from front our liver look like now we will see the posterior view of liver if we see our liver from behind how it look like now we will see that posterior view
the, so this is posterior view of our liver this is falciform ligament this is right right triangular ligament okay and this is fissure for ligamentum venosum venosum and this is ligamentum teres okay then this area this area is caudate lobe and this area is quadrate lobe our quadrate lobe and quadrate lobe present into our right lobe our quadrate lobe join to the our right lobe this area is called quadrate process and this is inferior vena cava and this is left hepatic vein and this is papillary process left triangular ligament this is a superior layer of coronary ligament and this is inferior layer of coronary ligament and this deep and transverse fissure is called porta hepatis porta hepatis now we will see the boundary of caudate lobe its right side have inferior vena cava and left side have a fissure for ligamentum venosum and its inferiorly have porta hepatitis and superiorly superior surface and boundary of now boundary of quadrate lobe its posteriorly have porta hepatis and right side have gall bladder this is gall bladder left side have ligamentum teres so this is a posterior view of our liver this is how from 
behind and inferiorly our liver look like so this is all for today i hope you got it let me know in comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel i will be back with a new useful video for you till then you take care and allah Peace.